Welcome to this Bonita Camp. We continue with the fourth chapter on process design. I remind you that you can see the whole camp series on your YouTube channel and get the Bonita Camp exercises and resources from GitHub so you can train on your own. BPMN, Business Process Model and Notation, is a graphical representation for specifying business processes in a business process model. It has been defined by the Object Management Group. The adoption of XML interchange format and the support of BPMN.2.0 provide the core elements for turning a model and its notation into an executable process. Implemented through a BPMN modeling tool, BPMN 2.0 provides programming instruction that a process engine uses to execute the process. Bonita is using a subset of the elements of this standard. Shapes are following the norms, whereas colors have been added to use for users' convenience by Bonitasoft. Start elements are in green, intermediate ones in blue, and end elements are in red. Events are always represented with a circle, whereas activities are represented by rectangles. You can see here basic elements you are going to use as a simple design. The pool is the location of your process. There is only one process definition per pool. A start event is used to begin a process instance and the end event will automatically trigger the process archive. There are different types of activities, but the most common ones are human tasks when a user is involved coming most of the time with a user interface, and service tasks, which are automatically run by Bonita Engine. Transitions are used to link elements together. We all know that in real life, a process never goes directly from point A to point B, and that it can take several paths. Using getaways will help represent those paths depending on the events. Three types of getaways are used in Bonita. Exclusive getaways are used to deal with conditions. You will use a default transition and make sure only one condition is true among outgoing transitions. The transition by default is identified by a slash. New transitions don't have conditions by default so you get a validation error on the gateway. Define all conditions and trigger the validation to get rid of the error. Parallel getaways are used to design several paths in the process that happen at the same time. All outgoing transitions are fired at the same time, no condition allowed, and the process continues in parallel. All inputs must be received in any order before the process can continue. Therefore, we recommend getaways to be placed in a symmetrical manner to avoid bad design and incoming transition to be waited forever. Finally, inclusive getaways are used when several transitions might be taken based on conditions which means that it can throw several outputs at the same time and it will wait for all incoming valid inputs be before the process can continue. If we use all the basic elements described before, your process would look like this. We recommend that you add as much contextual information as possible to help other people understand the process when modeling. To go further in the automation of processes, we will now see some useful elements of modeling. The first elements are events that are used throughout the process to handle various types of actions. BPM and events are either throw, think of these as senders, or catch, think of these as receivers, and they are asynchronous which means that Bonita Engine will perform other actions while an event is rich and working. Messages and signals carry information across pool boundaries. Messages are used to transfer data between processes. For example, you can start a new process with data received from a different process through a BPMN message. Timers can delay or pause a process while errors send it on an exception path. Both of them 
can also launch an axon or trigger an alternative path within the process flow depending on data received in the task. In this case, we talk about boundary events. Boundary events can pause the process or not. We talk about interrupting or non-interrupting boundary events and especially non-interrupting boundary timers as you can see here. Another useful way to design your process is the use of call activities and subprocesses. Call activities are very useful for readability. As stated in this example, when the process reaches the call activity, it will put the parent process on hold until the subprocess is finished. Data is mapped between the parent and the child process. Ending the subprocess will update data to the parent process. Finally, loops and multi-instance elements are used to repeat tasks. If you need to repeat the same task based on conditions, you are going to set a loop. If you need to launch multiple occurrence of the same task, you will use multi-instantiation. Multi-instances can be parallel, a common use case can be votation, for example, or sequential. If you want to know more about BPMAN 2.0 and deep dive into business process design, the ultimate guide to BPMN 2.0 is a perfect and complete resource available in Bonitasoft corporate website in the section resources. Let's continue with the next chapter about data management. And again, don't forget that you can practice with the exercises available in our repository on GitHub. Thank you.